everybody, welcome back to Kim's Kitchen. Today we're going to be making an elegant dessert. It is an apple tart with some fresh berries on top. It is really easy to make because we're not going to be fussing with any pastry making. We're going to be using frozen puff pastry, so it's going to make our life really easy. We're going to be using some very basic ingredients and it gets together in really no time. So it's a perfect solution if you're going to have last minute guests or if you just need a dessert right away. So come on, we have a lot of work to get done. Let's get started. These are the ingredients for the apple tart. One sheet of frozen puff pastry, two large apples, one cup of berries, three tablespoons of sugar, three tablespoons of cold butter, and a fourth cup of apricot jam. So the first thing we're going to be doing today is to peel our apples and I'm using Pink Lady apples today. If you like, you can also use Granny Smith apples or whatever you like, but two a large Granny Smith size apples are great, but I have a little bit smaller sized apples today. These are, since they are small, I'm going to be adding extra berries, but if you don't want to use berries, you can just use two large Granny Smith or two large apples of your taste instead of berries at all but I'm gonna be using both today so the equivalent should be about one cup of berries and two apples first let's get peeling the apples I want to peel them because I'm not going to be using peel in this recipe sometimes the peel in recipes tastes really good and it looks gorgeous but for this recipe we're not going to be using the peel so I'm going to be peeling it this way. You don't have to be perfect when you're peeling these because we're going for a rustic look. So I find that it, the rustic look is kind of more appealing sometimes because it looks like it's been homemade. It has a certain attraction that way. So yeah, go ahead and peel all your apples. I like to peel it with a peeling knife, but if you have a peeler, that would be fine too. And if you have an apple carver, maybe that would be easy, but I'm just gonna use it with a knife. And I'm gonna take out the middle manually. So do it how you like. I'm gonna do it this way. Now we peeled and cored our apples and we're going to slice them super thin. They should be like a quarter inch thickness. You don't have to be perfect with them but they should be evenly sliced and should be thin. If you're trying to uh, save time and want to do it uh, in advance, you can also slice these and squeeze some lemon on it and cover it. Put it in the fridge and it should be good for about four hours in the fridge and when you're ready to cook it. You can take it out of the fridge, take off the excess lemon with some paper towel, drain them basically. They're ready to, to cook whenever you need them. So you can prepare these in advance if you need to. I got my puff pastry out of the freezer. It's been sitting at room temperature for about 20 to 30 minutes. They are pliable right now. And as you can see, mine is in three pieces, but I'm gonna kind of pinch them together. They are one size. It depends on your grocery store and what kind of puff pastry you get. But the one I get is uh, separated in three pieces. But that's fine because I'm gonna stick them together now. So we're going to get our oven tray lined with parchment paper and we're going to take our puff pastry and just lay it on top right next to each other. Very simple, like this. What we want to do is to have them stick to each other because it's going to be one uniform tart. There's no need to roll these out, but just make sure that they do stick to each other. should be like this and I'm just going to kind of pinch them since they're nice and soft I can actually glue them together just by lightly pinching them so there you go the pastry dough is ready 
super easy, no fuss. Now that we've laid out our puff pastry and it's ready, we're going to slice our apples into those even slices so that we can lay them on the pastry dough. Now that we've prepped our apples to line the puff pastry with, this is a good time to go ahead and heat up your oven to 200 degrees so that it's ready when you are finished making the tart to pop in the oven. One extra note, if you find your apples are a little bit small like I did, I slice up one more apple just in case because I want to make sure I cover the whole pastry tart so that I don't have any missing spots, although I'm gonna be covering it with berries as well. So you check your apples, if they are small like mine, you can go ahead and add one extra one. So we're gonna go ahead, line our apples evenly onto the pastry dough, like this. Make sure that they are touching each other so that there's no empty spaces. I'm going to just line them evenly in this way. I'm going to leave a little bit of a space here because the juices may overflow and I'm going to continue lining it this way. So I'm going to make three rows of apples. There's one row and now I'm going to continue with the next. I just got my butter out of the fridge. This has to be cold, so don't forget that you should cut it up in cubes and put it in the fridge and take it out just before we going to bake it. So now we've lined our apples. I use different pattern, you can do it however you like. And I'm just going to uh, basically decorate this with my berries. So there is no pattern, just really how you think it is nice. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect like I said. I, I just like to decorate it um, with these different colors because it gives a nice contrast. So basically go ahead and do however you like. If you don't have these berries, that's fine. You don't need to do it with berries. Um, you can use different kinds of berries as well. Raspberries go really well with this. And if you like, you can use blackberries which are great for the summer uh, fruit season. At this point it is ready but I'm just going to cupping it in. Just hold it a little bit on the sides. You can very well bake it as it is but I just like the snug look of the pastry holding in the, the fruit here so I'm just gonna fold it in a little bit just slightly it is not a necessary step as I said but uh, it's up to you really I'm gonna do it just because it looks nicer for me now it's time to put the sugar on top uh, there's about three tablespoons of sugar here and so I'm going to just evenly spread it over all over it Sprinkle all the sugar evenly all over the place. There's really not much sugar here. It's only three tablespoons. You have to consider the acidity of the apples and the berries. So this is considering the whole thing. It's not that much, so don't worry about it. There you go. And now we're done with the sugar. We're gonna go ahead and take our butter, our cold butter. It's really important that it's cold so it doesn't melt too quickly when we're baking it in the oven. So just basically evenly disperse the butter, the chocolate butter, all over the pastry. There's three tablespoons of butter here and I have chopped them up 
earlier and kept them in the fridge until now. So here we are. Alright, this is ready to go into the oven. We're going to bake it in the oven for about 35 to 40 minutes, but I think you should keep an eye on it at the 30 minute mark. When it's golden brown and the apples are crisp, it's pretty much ready. See you later. While our tart is in the oven baking and the wonderful aroma is coming out, we're gonna go ahead and do the next step, which is basically getting about a fourth cup of apricot jam and heating it up with a little bit of water. This will give a wonderful shiny gloss to our tart as soon as it comes out of the oven. So we're gonna get our apricot jam and warm it on a low temperature on the stove. You're gonna to wanna to add a little bit of water so that it makes it nice and thin, otherwise it's a bit too thick to spread. So I'm gonna put about a splash, which is like a tablespoon of water. And then stir that up just a little bit until it's nice and thin and spreadable, basically. So while the tart is baking, this will cool down a little bit and it will be ready for us to spread. But if it's too thick, you can always warm it up again before you uh, polish the tart when it gets out of the oven. So here it is coming together nicely. It's nice and thin now. So as you can see, it is nice. It's ready to be spread on the tart. It's been 35 minutes. Time to get it out of the oven. I'm so excited. Wow, so perfect. So there you go, today we made a perfect apple tart with fresh berries on top. I hope you enjoyed eating this as much as I do. Please let me know what you think in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for more recipes like this. See you soon on Kim's Kitchen. Serve it with ice cream or with some fresh cream or just eat it plain. But I'm going to have it with ice cream today because it's a really hot day and just because I want it. Crunchy bottom. Perfect. Can you hear the sound? It's amazing. So delicious. Crispy, fine, lightly sugared, but not too much. Combination of the ice cream is perfect. 
enjoy it.